friends, it's Quenby, the Grateful Queen here on YouTube. And I'm coming to you tonight with a live video. So hopefully we'll have some friends in the chat and I see some of you already. So I'm really glad you're here. Thank you so much for coming over. Um, I'm gonna do a live show, so we'll interact with the chat a bit and then the chat will stay up. So if you happen to be watching the replay, you can see who is in the chat and what we're talking about. It usually gets kind of fun and silly in there. So that's always great to see it later. Um, I also have a thrift haul for you, which seems really strange because I'm filming this on um, April 3rd, Friday, April 3rd, when we are all sheltering in place, staying at home and no one's thrifting. Do you guys miss thrifting or are you just like, okay, I am like actively missing thrifting. Like I'm looking through my thrifting pictures and just wishing I was thrifting. I do want to talk with you guys in a bit about how you're doing with inventory and stuff. Um, but this thrift haul must be from like maybe six weeks ago or so. And it's a, and it's kind of like a spring themed haul. I was looking to start getting things in my store and closet for spring and summer. So I'm going to show you that stuff. And if you happen to be new here, Hi, I'm Quenby. I am the Grateful Queen here on YouTube and Instagram, and I am a reseller. So I sell pre-owned, mostly clothing, on the internet for profit. I sell on two platforms. I'm on eBay and Poshmark. And it's really, it's a really fun gig, so I share about it here on the channel. I, I do some thrift hauls from places like yard sales and thrift stores. I do some retail arbitrage, some thread up boxes. I really mix it up in my business and I share it all on the channel here. So you can see what it's like to be, for me it's part-time, but to be a reseller and to get to work from home and have your own business. It's really great. Okay, let me see who's in the chat so I can say hi. I see Alicia from Married Life who put out a cool video today I saw on um, thread up sourcing. So I definitely wanna check that out. I see Jacob, Little Bunny Foo Foo, and Leslie, a reseller's passion. I definitely wanna talk to Leslie about some things she's doing right now. And Corey made it. Corey, secondhand shorty. Corey, are the post offices still closed? And I saw Lizette, um, who is New England Betty Boop and also Posh is My Purpose, who got to debut on YouTube on A Reseller's Passion, Leslie's channel, last night. So I watched that today, which was awesome. Oh, so Victoria's here and Oh Darling Dresser's here. Hey, you caught it live. I'm so glad. And Melissa from Vandy's Closet. Melissa, if you click on her little picture there in the chat, she's got a really cool channel. I love when I find a new YouTuber um, because then when I find their channel, there's like a bunch of videos I get to watch. So definitely check her out. And Lori Owens is here. Great to see you. How's it going in the South, Alicia at Murray Live? Did I say hi to everybody? Often I'll go back and I'll look and I'm like, I miss so much. Oh no, I see girly girl style. Tori's in the chat. We have some things that we're up to that I want to share with you tonight for sure. So we have lots of good friends. Thank you so much for coming to me on this Friday night. I don't think I saw any other lives, but if you guys know that there's some happening later, will you let me know? And my mom, Barbara Kemmler is here. I'm here, your greatest fan, Grateful Babette. So my mom is under Barbara Kemmler. And um, so last night on Girly Girl Style, we had a live show. Tori hosted us on her channel. I had some technical difficulties, but I'm moving on from that part. <laughs> Most of you probably saw it. Anyway, it was so fun. It was like a theme to dress up. And because I was having tech difficulties, I didn't get to share the whole story about my outfit and how I dressed up for the from the 40s, 50s with a pillbox hat with a little veil. Corey, did you see that? You might appreciate that. Anyway, the story why I really wanted to wear that hat is because my mom and I went thrifting at our favorite thrift store. It's a hospice store, so they get lots of vintage and antique stuff. And I bought that hat with her when we were out looking for hats to wear to my sister Aaliyah's wedding that summer. And I've been, we didn't end up wearing, my mom found some other fantastic vintage straw red hat, the best. She looked so good in it. And um, anyway, I've been wanting an excuse to wear that hat. So when Tori and I were talking, we're like trying to get a live show, wanted to do, Tori's so positive. She's such a light in our community. And it's like, let's do something fun. We're all at home, you know, let's just, and we're like, let's get dressed up. Let's do date night outfits. And then Tori was like, oh, let's do 
theme decade. So I got to wear the hat. Check out the video on our channel if you didn't get to see it. It was really fun. We talked fashion and you'll definitely want to check that out. And I got to wear the hat that I got with my mom and it was fun. So, okay. If you're just tuning in, I was saying that I have this thrift haul from like six weeks ago and I want to share it with you. Maybe because it's always just fun to look at clothes, right? And it's a spring summer haul and I need to do this thrift haul because I have this whole process. Are you guys like totally changing up your processes right now because we're at home? I am doing some things different, but usually what I do is I get the items at the thrift store. I bring them home. I hang them up on like a rack so they don't get totally wrinkled. And then I wait to do a haul on my channel. And then after that, I take the pictures and do the listings. So this has been sitting here because I can't break out of my, my pattern and just list it. I'm waiting for you guys. I want to share it with you. Yes, says Alicia, I need a haul. Alicia, what other videos have you been um, putting up on your channel lately? I know you took a little break to be with your hubby, which was so sweet. I saw your thread up video. I saw some other cool stuff. Okay. So this I got, I'm so excited to do a thrift haul. It kind of feels like the old days of six weeks ago. <sighs> um, also, Victoria's here. I'm so glad she has some great vintage stuff. You should follow her on Instagram and check out her pictures and stuff. So everything was half off. So these little tags are half off. This is a black label J. Crew, which is one of their higher end labels. It's a size eight. And this is just such a classic tank. It's blue and white stripe. It almost looks seersucker, but it's not. And it has all these um, ruffle details and little ruffles. Look at the tight ruffle at the sleeve. So um, one of the things I, I look for in a tank top, tank tops can't sell for that much because they're usually just simple, not substantial pieces. So I'm looking for things like this that are maybe higher quality, um, that are a little special that I can maybe get like 20 bucks for a tank top on Posh or eBay. And I paid $3.99. I know I saw Jacob here. Um, I just want to make sure I said hi to you, Jacob. Are you still around? How much coffee did you drink today? So that's a cute little J. Crew piece. And if you don't know, I'm sure all of you do. But just in case, there's usually a tag on the inside um, that has the style number right here. So what I'll do is I'll just type into Google J. Crew and that style number. And I'll find either a stock photo if I choose to use that or at least the style name. And I'll put that in. I, do you guys use stock photos? What's your um, thought on that? I tend to use them, I notice, if the item's new. Because for some reason, I don't know. I just think if it's new, I can use a stock photo. If it's not, I don't. What do you guys do around that? Oh, you did a video, Alicia, at Married Life on free inventory? I did too. Yay, Kelly Schaefer made it. And she's in time for the haul. Kelly Schaefer has a cool channel. And I just watched a video on her channel about her neighbors giving her clothes. I have a note about talking to you guys about that. Coffee cup is bottomless for Jacob. What, what brand do you drink, Jacob? What kind of coffee are you into? I'm like a dark French roast girl. Oh, girly girl doesn't use because of copyright infringement. I need to look into that. Neither does Leslie. They don't use stock photos. I use them. Um, I should probably look into like the details of that. I've never had a problem. I've had more problems with using branded terms. Like it's been a while now, but like on eBay, I've had stuff removed. Like I used the word Velcro once it got removed. Certain brands don't want, oh, Zumba, you know that? You know those um, fitness clothes that are Zumba and that it's the Zumba name brand. I, I put that in a title once and they removed the listing, but I've never had any problem with stock photos all these years. Lisette says she uses the stock photos, but she cuts the faces off and change them up a bit. You cut the faces off. Oh, is it because it's like the model? Oh, darling dresser says I try to model most of my items. Gosh, that takes so much time, doesn't it? I, I have heard, and so does girly girl, as we know. If you're not following her on Instagram, I just love looking through all her modeling photos. You have a real knack for that. I don't think I do. Alicia drinks her coffee black. Oh, you don't want to hear what I do with my coffee then. I have an I have like a super elaborate coffee making process every morning. Um, oh, Sarah made it from Sarah, Sarah Styles. Hey Sarah, hello friend. I'm doing my haul part. This is my haul from like so long ago. Okay, I love this piece. I want to hear what you guys think. Sarah, you do model your vintage. You do a good job with that too. 
So this is Odile, which I think is sometimes sold in anthropology. This looks like an older tag. What do you guys think? And it's, it's a size eight. Now this thing has this top. I'm in love with it. It has so many things going for it. Um, okay, it's got a heart print. And any kind of novelty print usually sells well for me. Do you guys find that? Everyone's saying hi to Syrah. And, and Jacob says he has his coffee with no sweetener. I don't do sweet. Sometimes in the afternoon if I'm having a sugar craving, but I don't want to eat something, I'll put um, a little like stevia in my coffee. So this top is a heart print. It's so feminine and it has this bow, which I'm not gonna say the name of this bow. If you guys know another, not another, not the P word name, but if you know another name for this neck bow, will you let me know? Cause I don't like putting that in. Okay, so it's Odile. Um, it has the bow, it has the heart print and it's 100% silk. I mean, can I say anything more about this? Look at the cut. And then it has this cutout in the back. This is a really special piece. I'm gonna look in the body. I don't think it's um, anthropology. Oh, it is. Okay, you guys, I was hesitant to say this was anthropology because sometimes I'm fooled, but I'm gonna hold it up just so you can see Odile. And then the tag in here does say imported for anthropology in the body. I just think this is such a sweet piece. Secretary bow says, oh, so Victoria. I like that. I love all the hearts. It's silk. It's got a cutout. So like, um, and even Corey likes it. Now Corey, so you're probably following her on Instagram at Secondhand Shorty. She lives in New York City and thrifts there. And she finds the most amazing brands. I mean, it just blows me away. So whenever she's like, I like that piece, I'm like, yes, points. Um, I just think this is gorgeous. And again, it's a tank top. Oh my God, you guys, it was only a dollar. Cause it was a dollar 99 half off. Okay. Melissa Vandy's closet says, um, I believe Odile was only made for anthropology. Okay. Okay, cool. So, um, again, I'm looking for tank tops like this that I can probably get like 20, 25 for maybe even because it's silk and it has all those really special details. I love that cutout. So Sarah, do you have tattoos on your back, Sarah? Some people I, I know, like if they have a really cool tattoo, they like the cutouts. Okay. Melissa Vandy's closet. Remind me again, is your YouTube channel is it Vandy's Closet? Okay, this is a Chico's piece. I got it because it was only a dollar and it's the newer Chico's. That's their newer tag. It's kind of hard to show, but um, Chico sells really well for me on eBay. My ribs. Oh, you have tattoos on your ribs. Okay, cool. Yeah, so Melissa Vandy's Closet if you click on her little picture there, it'll go to her channel and you can subscribe and check out her videos. She just did one um, that was interesting to me about, I think it was B&G trading, right, Melissa? And I think people are really after things like that right now. They need that content on YouTube because we're all trying to source alternatively. Most of us are. And B&G um, trading that does like wholesale boxes, that's a really great way possibly to get inventory right now. So I think people like to watch those videos and see and manage their expectations. And you didn't get the like highest end box on that one. So, okay. Um, so this is, I got this because it's Chico's, it's the newer tag. I wanted a tank. It was only a dollar and it's a size three and Chico's does vanity sizing. So three is XL. So I'll still probably be able to get like $15 for that and it'll sell really well on eBay. Ooh, this is one of my favorite pieces. I don't know how to show it to you though because it's a long dress. Sarah's telling us she's Sarah Styles on all platforms. I didn't know you sold on Etsy too. You probably mentioned it, but I've never done um, Etsy. But I have something I wanna talk to you guys about, which is cross posting. So if I like get way off there, I really wanna to talk to you guys about that tonight. Natasha says she made it. Natasha, Justina, are you a reseller? If so, tell me what your um, Instagram handle is or your YouTube, because sometimes our names are different there. Murray Life says, I just sold four Chico's tops, so I think it's a good time to list it. Okay, Chico's has always done well for me, you guys, on eBay. Have you been into like Chico's store? There's one in, a, in kind of like a, a center by me and it's all these kind of like um, 
those types of stores. There's a Soft Surroundings, a J. Jill, a White House Black Market, Chico's. I don't know if you guys have the shoe store Soul Desire where they sell the European shoes, really expensive. And so, and there's a Soma in there. So kind of expensive women's, mature women's wear. Chico's stuff is so expensive. If you walk in there, that tank top, I don't know what the tank was, but I'm going to guess like 30 bucks or something. Um, O'Dell and Jester says, thanks. A year ago, I had no clue how to pose for anything. So I'm working on it. Are you doing some modeling? Oh, good. Oh, vintage chastity. Okay. Natasha is vintage chastity and she lives in Santa Rosa too. That's where I am. Maybe we'll bump into each other's one of these times. That'll be weird when I finally bump into someone and they're like, I know you from YouTube. This will be my face. I'll probably have like a social anxiety moment. Oh, good. It's Bill. Bill, we did the live on Girl or Girl Style last night, and Bill was not there. Usually, Bill, you at least make an appearance. You usually, like, at least come in in some way. Corey says, I don't mess with them. Maybe I should make a Chico's mystery box. You could, Corey. You don't mess with that brand. Well, you sell really high-end stuff, like designer stuff, so you might not need to. But I love having stuff in my eBay store like J. Jill, Chico's, um, all that kind of styling, Co, Talbots, because that that's like my $20 flips and it keeps a lot of flow moving in my store. People are, they know those brands, they're comfortable with their size in those brands, they know what to search. And to tell you the truth, I've been ordering a lot of inventory online, you guys. Has anyone else done that? Um... And you know what I went for, like on Thread Up, J. Jill, Chico's. I, I ordered all that stuff, a whole huge box of it. I, I'm making a video about it in case anyone does not know how to go on the Thread, Thread Up website and shop on there for inventory. I did really well. Like my average sale price was like five bucks, my average um, price. Okay, let me show you this dress. It's a whole lot of dress happening here. This one will sell well, though. I know it. I don't know what you guys are talking about, your computer stuff. I'm just looking. Oh, women's night. No way. Bill had to ignore us. Let's do it again. Like, what could be our next theme? Wouldn't that be so fun? Okay, so this is a dress. Um, it was $5.99, half off, so I paid $3. I'm going to remove this tag because I can't really. Oh, Babette Sabo is here. Um, my mom, Babette, is also in the, chan in the chat, if she's still here. Uh, does anyone know this brand, M? mood fashion i don't i mean i don't think this is anything but check out this dress wait till you see it's a little hard to show halter and then look at the skirt on this look at this look at all this gathering and ruching on this this is like so lagging look um so i don't know if this brand is anything but what i'll do is put in my title lag and look ruched gathered dress but it could also be like steampunk it could also be victorian but um these dresses are expensive so the color is not showing up it's showing up wicked bright um for me it's like a rust like a very light rust almost like an antique it looks like when i'm looking at my screen it might just be my monitor it looks like bright orange okay Babette, so Babette says she's trying a B&G box for the first time. Babette, which one did you order? Because there's lots of different boxes, and I would love to find out what your experience was. Corey says, do you sell soft surroundings well? I find this all the time. Yeah, maybe you could, like, do a little, like, lower-end stuff, Corey, if you just want, like, bread and butter flips. Soft surroundings sells really well, especially larger sizes. I think that's one of those brands that makes beautiful tunics and stuff. Um, and larger sizes really like that brand. Thread up. You ordered some stuff from Thread Up. Um, I haven't ordered a BNG box. If you guys are interested, on my channel somewhere from a little while ago, I have an unboxing, a BNG trading unboxing. I think it was from the Nordstrom Revolve box. It was 10 items, all new with tags, more like trendy stuff. Um I have sold a couple of those pieces. It worked out to be about $10 an item for new with tags. And I've sold a few 
I think I would consider it again, but I might want to try a different box. I don't know. Leslie says, a crafty show, showing your favorite craft to the community, show a completed project. I could do that. I don't know if I have anything from really recent, but I, I make paintings and stuff. Babette says, Nordstrom box didn't get, you didn't get it yet. Okay, keep us posted. So um, Nordstrom would be good because it'll be brands that are recognizable to people. I love hosting. I um Or host Leslie. I want to do it with you guys. <laughs> I promise I'll get my technological issues. I had some tech issues on Tori's show last night. I felt so bad, but um, she handled it so well. And I think I figured it out. So we're good. Oh, oh, we have a special surprise visitor. Come on in. Oh, hello, Mr. Gallahan. Um, say hi to the people. There's where the camera is. This is my son, Torvald. Hello, people. Hello, people. Who many of you know, if you watch my YouTube videos, he often makes an appearance, and he does his funny little clips that he, I swear he makes up himself, like. Um, do you have a question for the people? Not really. Not really, you just wanted to come in and say hi. Bill says, hey, bud. Yes, I will be there, Tori. I was thinking, so what were the themes? A craft show, maybe? Let, um, Jacob says, hey, buddy, good to see ya. And Lisette, Lisette made these little pictures and says, hello, hello. He's been homeschooling. Do you like homeschooling, Torvald? Yeah, he watches a lot of YouTube. You love his shirt. Mama got him. It's one of those, like, silky Nike ones. Like, it feels really silky. He's adorable. I know. Doesn't he look like me? No, <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he is so adorable. It's adorable having him here 24-7 with no school or camp or anything. He's been really great. One of the things I'm trying to do, let me know how you guys are doing this, like your mind space with this whole um, staying at home. I think it's normal for any of us to have times where we're struggling with it. And there are some very real struggles. So I don't deny any of that. Um, and I'm trying to keep my mind disciplined and in a good place. And one of the ways I do that is try and focus on some of the things that I appreciate about staying at home. And there's a lot of them. One of them, though, is that Mr. 12 and I have been going on bike rides like twice a day at least. And let me tell you about this community thing that was so sweet. Let me know if any of you guys, um, Lissa says, have you been making a lot of videos for your mom? I want them to do some more clips. Well, then you can just Okay, we'll do some maybe tomorrow. Um, so one of the things I'm trying to appreciate is going out with him, bike riding. I'm taking more walks. I'm not driving as much. I appreciate that. And in our neighborhood, I'm really appreciating our neighbors because they're doing all these fun things for kids. I posted on Instagram. Did any of you guys see it? Um, where people are putting teddy bears in their windows. You could start it in your community if it's not happening where you are. But in our community, People are putting just like stuffed animals and teddy bears in the window so that when kids are walking and biking, it, it like gives them something to do, like to, to be surprised and find the teddy bears and then to count them and stuff. We have a bunch at our house. And um, another one was, oh, Melissa says, my husband and I have been walking where new neighborhood does that. I, I hope... So I hope the new neighborhood does that. Cool. Um, yeah. And you can suggest it. Like you can put it out. I'm on the neighborhood app. So on the neighborhood app, I saw that someone had put out like a pirate's treasure chest for the kids. Do you want to tell about it to you? Yes. Give me one quick second. Give you one quick second. Okay. So, and Alicia says, I've been in the sun way more since my husband is home. We stayed out with the dogs one to two hours a day. That is so great. And Sarah says, yeah, I've seen that. We're moving. So I hope the new neighborhood does that. Oh, yeah, I read that. And um, Melissa's walking. What is backyard tent day, Jacob? An exercise, Sarah's saying, that really does help. I know you guys are probably all already okay. following Sarah Styles, but definitely so, click her. About that thing that mom said. Okay. When we were out bike riding. Get over here so they can hear you. We found this chest-like thing. Mm -hmm. And I got this, like. Yeah, put it here. So this is heavy. Like, this is really metal silver necklace so oh 
It's got a maker's mark on it. Anyway, so someone in the neighborhood put out a box and they decorated it and called it a treasure chest so all the kids can ride by. And um, they said they did it all sanitary and wiped everything down. Everything is individually bagged and little Ziplocs, you guys. And they're all pieces of like jewelry like that. So they can choose their own treasure from the chest. I mean, people are so creative in these times. So I don't want to forget that, that I love seeing the art that's being made in this time. I love hearing the ways people are being really creative. Um, so there's an opportunity in that. Tori, I know, is doing all her embroidery. Um, what else are you doing that's kind of creative or something that you don't usually get the time to do that you're doing now? Yes. So Quinley, also, if you want to know how many people are on there, it says right there. Oh, cool. Quinley, I have 26 people. Okay. How am I even going 25 minutes already? Because I still have my haul to do. Let's get back on track. Sarah says my parents are going to do that for Easter egg hunt. They're going to put them, what are they going to wipe them down or they're going to put them in bags or what? And Sarah says, yes, I have a new video just released, Shameless Promotion, which I love when you guys do that here. In case anyone's watching in the replay, because I know everybody in the chat's already subscribed. If you click on Sarah Styles, you can go see all her videos. She's got a lot of cool stuff. And if you are not subscribed, you need to hit the button. Yeah, if you're not subscribed to Gra the Grateful Queen we and you're watching this. We want to see the button red. If we see the button red, we will find good clothes if it's not red. Cool. Okay. Love you, T. I'm going to get back into my clothes. You can hang out if you want. but And shut the door behind you, will you please? Thanks for visiting. Yes. He's a great assistant, says Alicia. You should get him a little desk with you. I know. Like, he will steal the YouTube channel if I let him. He loves it. Um, oh, cool, cool. Lori says I'm cooking more. And Leslie at a reseller's passion says I'm crafty. Some new items. So what are you selling, Leslie? Leslie from a reseller's passion. I'm so excited because she does a ton of content on social media, but now she's really doing more YouTube. So definitely check out her channel. She did a great live. Oh, Lisette, you caught that? New England Betty Boop says, did he just call you Quenby? Yeah, he's kind of precocious. Um, and so sometimes he'll call me Quenby and I, every time I'll say mama, mama, mom, or I try not to answer. He's a funny little guy. Oh, Sarah's saying her grand, that her parents are going to wipe the bags and then put them in our yards. Oh, that's right. So they could totally come over and put them in the yard so when the kids, they'll be ready for them. That's awesome. Bill says crafting adult beverages, mostly the beer kind. I wish I knew how to do that. That's kind of cool. I've seen a lot of people in the garage, like you'll walk by and they have a whole like little brewery in there. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, oh, that's right. Lisette. I see. I'm glad I'm scrolling back up. So New England Betty Boop, um, go check out Poshmark Closet. I'm selling mystery re reseller boxes for 25 at Posh is my purpose. That's a really good idea. I think a lot of people need those. I might hit you up down the road. My situation is that I started, I think, to get a little bit like, um, oh my gosh, what am I going to do about inventory? So I spent a few days there ordering a ton of inventory online. So now I'm like, oh gosh, I'm going to end up with a lot of inventory. Plus what I want to talk to you guys about is getting free inventory. I put up a video about it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Oops. I just did that thing where I must've hit a comment and now it's on there. And now I have to find the comment of Lisette's because otherwise it's just going to be up there. Oh, there we go. I think I can hit it again. There we go. Aren't I good at this, you guys? Like, really good at this? Natasha's doing takeout. Okay. So are, have you guys, um, have you received any free inventory donations from friends or family or other people that know you're trying to keep your small business running? Or have you reached out to your community in any way to get inventory? Um, I'll share my experience about that, but I want to hear what, you all say, my mom says, Barbara Kemmler, I can't help saying that my grandson is so adorable, brilliant, charming, etc." Okay, you've been heard. My mom was always good at that as a parent, letting you know that you're brilliant no matter what you do. You're brilliant. She'd say, that's brilliant. <laughs> okay, some 
Prana pants. This is like another bread and butter. That's the Prana logo there. And this is what the label looks like. This is sold at places in my area at REI, like expensive outdoor wear stores. And um, it's pricey. These are just some black, um, kind of like a cargo-y pants with a drawstring waist. They were $3 and I can probably get about 20, 25 on eBay or Posh. Um, let's see. Tori says, yes, neighbor dropped off a bag a couple weeks ago. Was there, was it a good experience for you? Um, Jacob says, same as Sarah, not sourcing until moved, but I will certainly keep you in mind for friends who need to source. Yeah. If you're on Instagram or whatever, share, um, Posh is my purpose her closet with people because that's a pretty great price for a mystery box. Let's set like, um, how are you marketing it? Is it like a certain number of items or a certain weight for 25 or how are you doing that? Let's see. That's right, Jacob. My mom is a proud grandmother. Okay. Leslie says, I use Nextdoor to reach out to the community, picking up donations from six people next week. Um, oh, shoot. My Alexa just turned on. Natasha says, I watched your video about the donation pickup, and I think it's hilarious that they were underwear. <laughs> I bet the woman had no idea her underwear. I know. So let me speak to that. So I made a video hoping to help my reseller community um, by sharing how I asked for free inventory and what my experience was. The reason I thought that was important was because I was seeing on Instagram a lot of resellers um, you know, sitting around packages, boxes, bags of free inventory they got from the neighbors. And I was like, I would really love that. That would be so helpful to me. But I didn't feel comfortable with how to ask. Like, how do I ask and say, I want to sell the stuff you give me? Like, I think it needs to be done well. So um, I talked to some people on Instagram and my friend Allie on Instagram gave me a template that I used that I felt so much better kind of explaining it to people. Um, but I did not reveal like much about the person who donated because I don't know whether she'd want to see it featured there. And I really think the woman that I made the video about that drop that I got her stuff, I don't think she um, got it ready for me. I think she had stuff ready to go to the donation, but you cannot donate anywhere where I am now. They're not accepting clothing or donations. So people are cleaning out their closets and they don't know what to do with the stuff. So um, it's kind of a win-win if you think of it that way. I have another woman um, who I've been communicating with that's supposed to drop some stuff off. She's moving. So like Leslie at A Reseller's Passion um, is mentioning, um, about using, what's it called again? That's what I'm hesitating about. Is it called, I was calling it next door. Yeah, next door. So I put out on next door in my close neighborhood um, that I'm a reseller, that my business depends on going to thrift stores and yard sales and getting inventory, but I can't do that right now. And I'd like to keep my business going. So if you're cleaning out your closet, as many people are you guys right now, um, would you consider donating to my small business or allowing me to buy your gently used items? And I felt so much better kind of like, saying I'm happy to give you some money for the stuff or you may just want to get rid of it. And I have someone who's coming that's moving who has been so grateful and thankful to me to have someone to give her inventory to because her inventory, her stuff to because she's moving and she wrote to me and she's like, I don't want to throw this stuff out, but no one will take it. I want our clothes to get used. I don't want them to end up in the landfill. If you if you can sell them or redonate them at a later time, that would help us out so much. So she's so thankful to me and I'm so thankful to her that she's willing to give me her stuff that she wants to get rid of. So it really is, for me, it was like I needed to shift my mindset around it. Let me see what you guys are selling. JC May, just in time. I'm so glad you made it. We're friends on Instagram. Let me back up a little bit because I think I missed some really good stuff. Um, so let me back up. Yeah, so just to bring it all back around, Natasha was saying, I think it was funny, um, she gave you underwear. So that's one of the reasons I think she didn't know, she wasn't getting stuff ready for me because there was like cut up costumery in there. Check out my video, it's kind of funny. There was like all sorts of stuff in there. There was underpants, 
stuff wasn't washed or anything. It was really like organic. I, that didn't, I'm just like, move that stuff aside. It didn't bother me or anything, but I think you're right. Sarah's letting us know that Daniela from Ivy and Blush is doing reseller boxes too. I saw that. You can find her at Ivy and Blush on Instagram. Underwear, I know. That's, you know, as if we don't like end up accidentally sifting and finding underwear at the bins. <sighs> okay. Oh, good. Let's hear. I'm going to put this up on the screen. Um, look at how I did that. Impressed. I know you are. Okay, New England Betty Boop, who is posh is my purpose and a great um, help to us here in the YouTube reseller community. She's always helping us out in the chats. So she's selling five pound mystery box with extra small, small, medium, large, plus mixed in men's and children's. So it's like a total mystery box. Awesome. That's going to help a lot of people with that. Leslie says, I used a template as well. So Leslie, I just kind of talked out loud about some of the things I was saying. Do you have anything to add to that that would help people who might be like I was hesitant to ask for inventory that might be helpful? And Kelly Schaefer says, yes, I received so much free inventory. I'm overwhelmed. Wow. And you can check out her channel. She's got some great videos. And I've asked her, like, let's do a video together. She doesn't want to do live yet, which I get. Um, but maybe we can cook something up. I like collabs and I like having collabs right now because it keeps me inspired. I need the connection. Um, so I'd love to do collabs. Hit me up if you want to do that. Anybody. So Kelly says, um, a boatload of plushies. I had to wash everything and storing them because I didn't want to sell. I've never sold plush. Have you guys? I don't have any experience with that. Um, Sarah says, oh gosh, it's going to come on the screen again because I'm using my finger. Our thrift store opened for donations yesterday, not to shop, but just accept. We were glad because we are moving and as a bunch we didn't want to throw away. Yeah, maybe another reseller type person or somebody else would benefit from it. So I know it's different state by state. I'm here in Northern California. Nothing is open other than like, you know, um, grocery stores. Target's been open, I think, but like everything's closed. All the thrift stores are closed. So I wonder where you were able and how you were able to donate. Jacob says, I used to donate socks and underwear along with my other clothes to Goodwill until I became a reseller. Nobody wants or needs those, Jacob, to stop. <laughs> socks, though. Socks, um, maybe not underwear, but um, socks and bras, like women's bras. A lot of us sell bras. I made a post today and I shouted out, Leslie and my friend Denali, who you all know and love, because they've been talking to me about selling bras. They've been posting about it. And so when I was cleaning out my stuff, I pulled out a lot of bras. I was taking pictures of them today. Um, so there's money in bras. Brandy's here. I'm late. You're not late. You're right on time. We're just chatting. Don't worry about it. Leslie says, just to add, we were talking about... Um, Maybe how to ask about, ask your community about donating to your small business. I really like that too. I think people like the idea of donating to a small business. Um, you also include, you'd be sharing the items with other resellers. Are you doing boxes or something, Leslie? How are you sharing them? Um, Melissa says, in Washington, Joanne keeps sending me texts about curbside service. And Alicia says, I sold a few bras this month. Cool. Were there any certain brands you noticed are doing well or sizes or something, Alicia? I'm just selling what I have. Um, and I have some bras I've picked up um, that are just sitting around. So but here's one of the things that I'm doing to make really good use of this time for myself. I am i don't know if any of you guys have this because you guys might be like super organized and on top of it. I'm organized, but um, I have my little areas of improvement. And one of those is sometimes I'll have bins where like if I have one bra and like two scarves and one purse, I'll kind of throw them in like this miscellaneous bin. And I don't tend to list that stuff that often. What I tend to do is list like, I'll get like 10 tops out and I'll just bust out top, 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 top or jeans or pants. And I like to batch it like that. So if I have kind of more miscellaneous items, I don't, I'm slower to list. So what I'm doing right now to challenge myself and make sure I'm taking advantage of this time is I'm doing all that stuff that takes me longer. Like, for example, listing a bra takes me longer because I don't do it all the time. So I was like, um, 
oh, someone just messaged me. My messages pop up on my computer. One of the women, the one I'm telling you about that's moving, the donation woman. Petey, if you hear and you're listening to this, someone's going to come and drop off some bags of inventory on the porch in 20 minutes. That's the win-win situation. Anyway, so I was talking about like listing something like a bra takes me longer because I'm not in the flow with it. Do you guys do that where you batch stuff up? Stuff up? Bill says sold Brooks and athletic bras a ton. Yeah, like a sports bra. Yeah, I've sold those. But like, I didn't know when I was doing the bras today, it was slow. Cause I'm like, okay, should I do a flat lay? So I get out my flat lay setup and I'm like, ah. then I put it on my mannequin and I'm like, oh, I like the way it looks on the mannequin. So I ended up doing that. So it just takes me longer. So I'm challenging myself now when I'm at home with a little more time like this to go through the things that usually slow me down, the miscellaneous stuff. Are you guys doing anything like that? That's like different. Like, okay, I really, I wanted to focus on this area. So now I'm doing it or anything you're listing from your house, anything like that. Miss a web says I've been selling my old nice Victoria's secret and Fredericks of Hollywood bras that are too little for me. Now there's still 36 D so large size. Yes. I think, is that true? You guys like almost everything in large size sells the best. I know with bras it's true because it's harder to find and they're more expensive. So like those like double D bras sell usually pretty well. Lisette says, Mo, uh, Jacob, most women won't donate them if they're too worn. Yeah. But sometimes it's in there. Oh, so Bill says, yes, mannequin always. Um, yeah, I didn't realize that's a good tip, Bill. I didn't realize like I just hadn't done it. So I took a couple flat lays and I'm like, I wasn't satisfied. So I'm like, let me just put it on. And what's so funny, you guys, is this. <laughs> so um, my storage and photo photography, photogra photography, photography area is my garage. So I finally got all my inventory, bins and bins of inventory out of my living room. For so long, it was like you'd come to my house and it looks nice. And then there's like this one whole area of the living room that was my lights, my photo setup and bins of clothes and all the miscellaneous stuff. Finally, I'm like enough. So we set up a whole garage area. So PD goes out to do look for something in the garage. He opens the garage door and there's the mannequin. And it happens to be this super sexy bra. It's like all lacy and it comes down a little bit and it's on the mannequin. He's like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, babe, I left that on there for you. I thought you'd like it. Cause I'm usually just in like a little cotton bra. Leslie says I'm about to be interviewed on someone's podcast. Let us know. I'll look for that tomorrow. Leslie. Good night, hon. Uh, what? Oh, I've been going 42 minutes. Oh, okay. How much time do you guys have? I still have my whole pile here. <coughs> Water went down wrong. Um, Brady says I'm a bigger size and feel like I can't get plus size to sell well, or it goes super cheap. Even new a tag. Maybe I'm just the wrong items. Brandy, you're saying like I'm paw, you're just posh or posh on eBay. You have a hard time selling plus. Tell me about that because um, we have some time. Okay. Because usually plus size um, people say sells better for them. Think about it. Like when you go to a thrift store, imagine you're a plus size woman. Maybe you are. And um, you go to a thrift store or something, there's just not as much option for you. It's not like there's a whole section like at my thrift store by size. There's rows and rows and rows of size small. It's harder to find stuff. So if they're willing to buy like pre-owned stuff, they're going to go online for it maybe. It's usually sell sold really well for me. I'm just going to check the chat to see if I missed anything. That's right. Brandy's in Cali too. Okay. It's going good. Has anyone else ordered other stuff like online? I, we talked a little bit about B&G. Has anyone else sourced online for anywhere else? Reseller mystery boxes, B&G. Is anyone else doing anything else? Um. Okay. Okay. Now look at these. I bought these. I'm doing like talking a lot and thrift haul. That's just the way it goes on live at five. What will I do next time? Because I don't have, I probably, oh, I could do like a free haul. Would you guys want to see some of the stuff I get for free? I love these shorts so much. They're like that linen with that great stripe. And um, these are universal thread, which is sold at Target. Um, and I got them because they're a 2XL, a great style, and they were $2. So I'm sure I could sell these on eBay probably because then I can offer free shipping. 
I don't know, maybe 15 bucks or something. I wish they fit me. I really like this style. Do you guys buy Target brands? Um, Jacob says, I sold a plus size dress on Mercari last week. One of my few Mercari sales. I've never been on Mercari. Is that, are any of you doing that with this time? Like, are you trying new platforms? Missa Webb says, am I saying your name wrong? I apologize. All Webb. I have not had to source online. I have a deaf landfill. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so amusing. It's like usually as we say death pile, although Jacob called it the smile pile and I've been using that. Oh, another visit maybe? What's up? What you doing? I'm here to tell you something, Wendy. Okay, mama. You know that little toy car that I have? Yeah. I'm in the middle of a video, hon. Is this I important? Know, I'm Oh, you know. Okay, Pauling, I have, I have a few good things, too, says Kelly. Brandy says, I love Target. Yeah, yeah. So also, Clemmy, Mama? I have this toy car that, like, Mama? goes on the walls. Yeah. And, like, it's really loud. It's like a vacuum. Okay. And the on button got jammed, so, like, you can't move the switch, and now it's just stuck on, and it's making a really loud noise. Okay, cool. Hey, will you tell Petey that someone's going to come deliver pre-owned stuff? Yes. And, and um, I'll be done in a little bit, probably. So okay. shut the door nicely, you please. Hear yeah, I hear it. No. Shut the door. Kid stuff, man. Mine's a death mountain. How do you guys have so much extra inventory? Smile pile. And now Quemby, I have Mula Mountain. <laughs> I love you guys for making me laugh. You know, I need this so much. Thank you so much for coming on here with me because um, I'm an introvert. I'm I can just be by myself endlessly but then i'll get around people and be like oh i love this and need it and you're my people and i really appreciate you thank you so much um money mountain landfill that's awesome i mean i had some but not like a landfill for sure kelly schaefer says thread up in posh mystery boxes waiting for delivery right now i have a video coming out but i did order a bunch of stuff on thread up I went on there originally when this stuff started to happen and they didn't have any rescue boxes and I, they had a fun box and I was like, mm, I've seen too many, in my opinion, fun box videos where I was like, I do not want that. Um, so I didn't get the fun. Right. And then I went back on like a week later and they had some rescue boxes. Now they're not the rescue boxes that I would normally buy. I have a bunch of videos up on the channel about like the designer thread up like the handbag boxes and stuff, you guys, I bought those. Um, I bought a denim box that was, it. I didn't think it was that great, but that stuff all sold, so maybe it was. Um, and then I bought a women's box in the past that weren't that great, so I wasn't going to buy anymore. But like in these times, I was like, give me whatever you got. So I, I got a women's box, mixed sizes. They didn't have large left. They only had like small and maybe I got a men's box. I hope I got a men's box because men's has been selling so great for me. Hey, Vivi's Closet. Loving your videos. Just bought a Thread Up Rescue Box. Which one did you get? That's what I'm talking about right now. So you're on at the right time. Uh, Alicia said, Quimby, I bought a fun box and it was fantastic. Okay, so we better check out that video. And there's another, uh, what is Anne Eckhart? She got an awesome fun box. So maybe they're pumping those up because if you look back months ago at people's rescue fun box it was like not good in my opinion the ones i saw um but the fun boxes are maybe getting better and the denim was worth it worth the cost of goods for sure you know i opened my denim boxes from thread up and blue box and i was like i don't know these are not brands i would normally get juniors but that stuff sold not for big money, but I sold all those like Hollister jeans, American Eagle for sure. We all know that, but a bunch of those junior jeans gone, sold them for like, I want to say I charge $8 shipping on eBay for the jeans. I did lot a couple pairs up. So I want to say like 15 bucks plus eight. I'll watch her video too. Alicia is so cute. She and I did that men's box video together and i've sold a bunch of that stuff from that video alicia vivi's vivi's closet says i got the 25 mix box women's that's what i got too it's like 25 pounds i'm like well it's got to be something in there worth selling 
Oh, let me see if I missed anything. Lily S says, hi, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for saying you love my videos, Vivi. Um, Brandy says, I have a swap meet down the street, and I get a ton of stuff for a dollar. Wow. It's very rare for me to get anything for a dollar. Like, I got a couple tank tops for a dollar, but... Miss Webb says, I have been unintentionally preparing for this stockpiling. That's how she got the landfill. <sighs> oh, well, you know, a lot of people. Um, oh, Bill's reminding everyone to hit the like button. Thanks, Bill. Um, a lot of people love the shopping part more than the listing. I'm a part timer, so I just don't have enough time, as much time to source. Otherwise, I'd probably have way more, too. I love this top. I bought it for myself. And then even though it says a size large, it, it was a little too fit it across the chest it fits it fit um uh it fit everywhere else oh, i love this so much it's a j crew it's a size large i paid two dollars look at this now obviously i love white i just love white this is like you'd need a um cami underneath but it's like a it's all lace it's like an all lace white top i just and it's it's heavy it feels like really good quality it's white, so I'm going to have to check it over really well, and I'll, I could get it under the lights and find something, but it looks excellent to me now. Um, Kelly says, I check the thread up website two to three times a day. I only want shoes or bags. Yeah, I don't know. Do you have good luck with bags? Because I, um, I ordered many thread up rescue boxes for the bags. I've gotten Kate Spade, Dooney and Bork, um, Coach. And they haven't sold as well as I would like. So what's your experience with that? And what's your price point? Like, what are you putting? How expensive are you putting things? Kelly says, I wish I had a passion to sell men's clothing. That's what Alicia and I talked about when we made that video. Check it out. It's up on both our channels, Sourcing Men's. And we're both like, okay, we know we want to sell men's because it sells well. And they tend to be great customers. I don't get a lot of returns easy. But when I go to the thrift store, I see the lines of shirts like this. I see the dresses and that's where I want to go. I just don't, it's not like I just want to run to the men's section. Um, but when I get in there, I like it and it sells really well. Like it sells a little bit higher for me, like men's jeans, men, men's tops. Um, but Beth says my Goodwill does 79 cent color tag every Sunday. I'm so jealous. You know, years ago, my Goodwill, Goodwill used to do a 99 cent Sunday, and I'd go in and get like 60 items. They don't do anything. In it was 2019 January, they have zero sales. They don't do color of the tag, color tag. They don't do 50 percent off. Zero sales. Nothing. They do no sales. So I, I can't shop there anymore. It's really expensive. I'm in Northern California, an hour north of San Francisco, um, at my local Goodwills. A dress is $10, jeans I think are $10, a short sleeve shirt like this, $6.99, a sweater, $8.99. It's like, it's just expensive. It's gotten crazy. Um, Vivi says, because things are buying less expensive, people are buying less expensive items now, I figured the regular mix box would be fine, but I want to get a designer shoes next. Yeah, I think you're probably right. I think you're probably right. People are buying like the comfy stuff. What? Oh my gosh. I think that's a super chat, but I have no idea how that works. Thanks, Lisette. New England Betty Boop. Good night, Quemby. Andrew and I are going dashing. Oh, are you doing that? That's like when you um, get food for people. Lisette, huge thank you for being here. I always appreciate you. I just like, she's such an awesome person in our community. I really appreciate her for showing up in the chat. She's just been so supportive and awesome. I gotta get her on this show. Now that we know she'll go on the YouTubes. Do you guys like this? I like am in love with it. Wonder what I can put that for. So um I should finish up in the next little bit because we've been almost an hour. I have three more items to show you. I wanted how you guys I wanted to talk to you guys about my new adventures in cross posting. What's what's dashing? I don't know. I don't exactly know. I'll save my favorite item for last. I can't believe it. Okay, this, these I got, this is Trina Turk. Trina Turk is best, 
known for their swimwear, really expensive swimwear. I bought myself a Trina Turk bathing suit res recently. Let me point this out on the tag because I get questions about this. Do you guys see that barcode on the tag? I get questions about this on Instagram. I don't, that's a dry cleaning tag. So when I see that little barcode, I, if I don't know the brand, I usually stop and look it up because somebody dry cleaned these leggings. Like that means they're, it's usually either a higher end item or whoever's purchased that has the money to be dry cleaning their leggings. I wonder if these are silk or something. No, oh, they're rayon, but they dry clean them. They were only $2. They're just a simple black legging. So I, this is not going to be like something amazing by this particular brand. Keep your eye out for their swimsuits and their colorful, like, um, pool wear, resort wear. That stuff sells really well. But for $2, Trina Turk leggings. And they're really thick and heavy. They feel amazing. Pretty. JC May says, I'm in Northern California and my Goodwill does 50% off on holidays. That's about it. It's, like, not enough. Like, and when I go into the Goodwill, is it like this where you guys are? It's like they have so much inventory. I can barely move the hangers through the racks. They need to get rid of inventory. So if they had sales, that would help them clear stuff out. But Beth says, I never knew that barcode, what it was. I know so many people said that to me. And I'm like, it's a dry cleaning tag. And it's usually good stuff. Okay. I love this dress. I just... I love this dress. So this is a um, a sheath dress. Just a, oh wait, or is it a shift? A shift. No, sheath is more fitted. A shift dress. It's by Zara. It's a size small. It was $3 and I just love it. I don't know. It almost has like a retro look to me. It feels really good. I'm kicking myself a little bit, to be honest with you guys, because... Um, because do you guys buy Zara? Like I like Zara. I like what they make. They do great styles, great prints, but it doesn't sell that well for me. I mean, I'll occasionally sell it, but I can't pass it up. It's like, Pumby, stop buying it. But it's like, I just loved this dress. It's such a great career dress. It's kind of got like a boxy shape. I don't know for two bucks. I'm sure I can get like $20 for it. I just like this style with some boots or like platform shoes. I love it, but does Zara do well for you guys? Because I've sold a, I've sold some things, but it never does as well as I think it it should. Love the color, says oh darling dresser. It is a cute dress. Brandy says our dresses are still three forty nine. Three forty. I'm not amused. Like I can't get, I can't get like this stuff is from a fifty percent off sale. They only have it on Wednesday, so I, that's the like I clear my schedule on my lunch break to go every Wednesday. $349 is a super great price. Um, and then six to nine ninety nine, unless they're new. Okay. But I pay more for a new because it sells better. Everybody loves girly girl style and Bill's videos. Okay, so this is the last item. I can't believe I got this, you guys. Uh, okay. I wish it was a different season, but check this out. This is so heavy, it must weigh like five pounds. This is a Patagonia jacket and it's really big. It's got a hood. It's all fleece lined. It's got these zipper pockets. I mean, this thing is amazing. It's amazing. And I mean, I'm, I don't see any flaws. Like it's an awesome condition. It's got Velcro and it zips down the front. It's a size small. Well, I paid up for it though, but I think it's okay. It's a size small, all fleece. This thing is amazing. What do you think this costs retail? Like if you went into REI, what do one of these cost you guys think? Not my videos, yikes. I love your, Bill, like one of my favorite shows on the channel is Bill Thrifts. And you show the stuff. I just love it. It makes me want to be like a reselling couple like I really enjoy shows where there's two people and there's a dynamic happening and the couple shows I mean we have so many great couples in our community 100 bucks you think this was 100 bucks new I think it was more than that let's look it up someone google it 300 retail oh no what were you saying 100 bucks to bill 300 retail I mean I don't know I could google it right now Patagucci 
I know. That's what I was thinking of, Jacob. Jacob says, as Bill and Tori would say, Patagucci, yay, nice jacket. Um, nine inches for ya, little booty. Okay, hi. Um, anyway, so I paid 10 bucks, which I think was pretty good. Like, would you have paid 10 bucks? So I'm gonna do a little research. Maybe I can find like this thing is huge and heavy, and it looks like it looks like it's in really good shape. It's a small, but it seems big. So I'm thinking, is it a men's? Bill, do you think it's a men's? On Patagonia, I often don't know. Like, is this a men's? It's huge. It, it would be huge on me. So I think it might be a men's small. So that might not be as good. And it weighs probably 10 pounds. So that is my last haul. The last haul. So now the stuff I'll be hauling is my thread up stuff. I ordered a bunch of stuff from shopgoodwill.com. We're going to wrap up here. So you guys, um, if there's anything that you want to put in the chat that I can shout out for you or that we should know about you, any your YouTube channel, anything cool you're doing, any giveaways, any um, sales, mystery boxes, anything, I want to make sure we know about it. I think it's men's bill. It's got to be because it's huge. The zipper... Jacob, how do you how does the zipper indicate it? Oh, I hope I learned something new. Like I know men's shirts snap different. How would the zipper indicate if it's men's or women's? Will it say on here it's got all these little things on it? I'm looking at the zipper. I don't know, but I would love to know because with Patagonia, this happens to me a lot. Like with their base layer tops, I just don't know. <gasps> Miss Aweb says, I have a YouTube channel just about to post a thread up unboxing. Cool. Is so if we click on Miss A Web, which I will do after this, I'll come find you over there on your YouTube channel. Friday was good for us so far. Check the tag. It doesn't say. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm looking at the tag inside. Sometimes it'll say, but it so far it doesn't. I'm gonna say men's because if I tried this on, it this would be big for a small, but. So anyway, I'll keep you posted on that. I think I might just Google like what it costs because it's super expensive. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up for tonight. I'm gonna make some dinner with my family. I hope you are all healthy and safe and staying content with all this stuff going on. I really hope we get a chance to, um, yeah, girly girl says I always have Bill put it on for reference. I know, I wish I had. I wish I had it. We all wish we had a bill, right? And it, um, Okay, so I hope to see you guys soon. I have some regular videos probably coming out this week. Look for us live. Lives are my favorite because we really get to interact with each other. It has meant a lot to me tonight to be able to smile and laugh with you guys and interact. I love having you. I'm going to continue my live at 5 on Friday nights. And then keep your eyes peeled. There's a lot of lives happening right now so we could all be checking in with each other. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Night, guys. Love you.